Hello and welcome to the second episode of my BMW tour across Bulgaria and Greece. In the previous episode, I drove BMW X7 from the capital of Bulgaria, Sofia, to a resort called Banska. You can watch that episode by clicking the link in the upper right corner or in the description below. And today I'm going further south to Greece, but this time in the facelifted BMW 7 Series. Of course, it's got a huge grill. BMW says the grill on the refreshed 7 Series is 40% larger than in the pre-facelift model. Do you like it? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, I get the feeling BMW is chasing Mercedes, which switched from a modest star on the bonnet to a huge star on the grill. BMW also made the badge larger. Now it has 95 millimeters diameter instead of 82 millimeters on the old car. Other changes in the front include slimmer headlights, redesigned bumper and bonnet. Enlarged grille also forced the designers to raise the foremost point of the bonnet by 5 cm. Or maybe that was the objective. From the side, the air vents behind the fenders have been redesigned for better airflow. There are now also new wheel designs and new paint colors. Inside the rear wheel arches, there is also more soundproofing for added comfort of the rear passengers. Everyone is focusing on the grille, because it's hard to ignore, but there are also some changes in the back. There are new slimmer lights joined by a light strip, as well as a chrome line. The exhaust looks slightly different. The goal is to set the refreshed BMW 7 Series apart from the 5 Series. I get it, you'd be forgiven for mixing up Audi A6 and A8 in the street, and BMW doesn't want this with its flagship. Changes inside focus on the infotainment system. The full name is BMW Live Cockpit with BMW Operating System 7.0. The Live Cockpit features a 12-inch display in front of a driver and a 10-inch plus screen on top of the dash. The same digital instrument cluster and central display are used in 3 Series, 8 Series, X5, X7 and, to my great disappointment, also in the Z4. Come on, BMW. A Roadster deserves a bespoke cockpit. Under the bonnet, there is a choice of petrol and diesel engines, as well as a plug-in hybrid powertrain. The PHEV ditched the four-cylinder motor in favor of a six-cylinder one. Theoretical range increased from 40 to around 55 kilometers. Besides six-cylinder diesels, there are also V8 petrols and the flagship V12, which I'm driving today. The 6.6-liter V12 now gets a gas particulate filter and produces 585 horsepower, which is actually 25 less than the pre-phase model. However, the torque is up from 800 to 850 newton meters. If you feel the earth moving under your feet right now, it's not an earthquake, it's just me accelerating. The 0 to 100 kilometers per hour time is up by one tenth to 3.8 seconds. However, we're talking about a limo, which is over five meters long, weighs over 2,200 kilograms, and still has the performance of a Porsche 911 Carrera S. Perhaps the V12 BMW 7 Series is not as engaging to drive as the 911, but when was the last time you drove a king-size bed and considered its acceleration and agility? The BMW 7 Series is not only fast in a straight line, but it also masks its mass well in the corners, thanks to systems stabilizing body roll and adapting the suspension to the road surface, as well as thanks to the X-Drive all-wheel drive system. The car seems to stick to the road, and yet through the corners you feel as if the 7 Series was rear-wheel drive. In sport mode, which I shall engage right now, the steering comes alive. The 7 Series has the integrated active steering, which in this car works the way it should, Basically, you don't feel you're driving a big car. The V12 engine makes the 7 Series feel effortless. I know, that's a Rolls-Royce tagline. I suspect a 200 kg lighter V8 model is just as good, but the 12 cylinders is an in-your-face luxury statement only a few can afford. It's a car you buy because you can, not because you need to. It's the same thing with enthusiastic driving. You can, but you don't have to. And when you don't want to, the BMW 7 Series is packed full of systems which will alleviate you from dealing with shopping trolleys surrounding you in traffic. Data from cameras and sensors warn you about dangers and will take evasive action to minimize the risk of you colliding with the plebs. 
parking a large car also doesn't have to be difficult. It turns out you don't even need to use indicators. Insert random BMW driver joke here. Apparently, if you use an indicator, BMW will abort the parking maneuver, assuming something is wrong with you. Sorry, couldn't help myself. Anyway, BMW 7 Series will find a parking spot for you. You won't have to do anything. The car also remembers the last 50 meters when driving below 36 km per hour. You can turn the car off or use the system right away. The 7 Series will trace its route back from a tight parking spot or a dead-end street. Here the driver needs to control the speed though. But the BMW 7 Series is a limousine after all, and a limo means the back seats are as important or even more important than the front seats. The seat behind the front passenger is the best. If there is nobody sitting in the front, you can fold it and stretch out. This is almost like a business class seat on a plane. There is also an infotainment system for the passengers in the rear, but chances are you don't have time to use it because you're working or resting. However, if you want to play around, there is a tablet which lets you control the blinds or the ambient light settings. Yay! It's very quiet, comfortable and peaceful in the back of the BMW 7 Series. I mentioned additional soundproofing in the wheel arches, but BMW also added soundproofing around the B and C pillars. The more powerful engine versions also get 5.1mm laminated glass all around. In less powerful versions, it's an option. But BMW goes a step further when it comes to making the car quiet. Even electric window motors have been redesigned to offer a more consistent and refined experience. And diesel cars also get redesigned engine mounts to further limit vibration. Prices of the refreshed BMW 7 Series start at €89,000 for a 730D with a 340 horsepower 6-cylinder diesel engine. The cheapest PHEV is a 394 horsepower 745E for 101,000. Petrol engines start with a 750i at 117,500 euro. All engine variants are available in regular or long wheelbase. X-Drive is standard for all long wheelbase models. The V12 is only available with long wheelbase and with X-Drive. And it starts at 174,000 euro. The road from Bulgaria to Greece in the new BMW 7 Series was a breeze. It's powerful and comfortable, great to drive and great to be driven in. And what's the most comfortable car you have been a passenger in? Let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe, rate and share. New episodes every Friday. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.